Hey there, Variety here. Welcome to today's video in which we're going to be doing a full raid guide for the Ancient Tree in Taurus Land. So the Ancient Tree is the third raid that is available in Taurus Land, and we're about a week in on Global. So you can find it located down here. This particular video is going to be on the Ancient Tree Elite. So right now we are progressing on the challenge mode of the tree on day one, and it is quite interesting. I would say that this boss is more mechanically intensive than the first two bosses, so it's definitely going to cause people to struggle. The Ancient Tree is much more than stand still and do damage to a boss, so a lot of people are going to fumble with the mechanics. This video will include everything you need along with a description of the abilities and an explanation as to how the abilities work and what you should do to get around them. With this video's help, you really shouldn't have any problem getting through an elite even if you're pugging it however i just really want to stress the fact that the challenge mode for this particular boss is significantly more difficult and it's not just a dps check kind of like the previous raid was okay so let's get to the raid itself before we start today's raid i want to talk about the mechanic that is most likely to trip up party so the main mechanic in this raid is called flower raid Basically what's going to happen is see those four flowers on the corners of the map? They are going to shoot a green beam at the boss. If that green beam hits the boss, the boss will become more powerful and the boss will kill the tank. So basically what you need to do is you need to get specifically DPS players, preferably range, to stand between the flower and the boss. What this will do is the beam will hit the back of the character and it'll get cut off. What's gonna happen is the beam will hit the character and make you more powerful. It will make you do more damage, which is why it's preferable that a DPS does it. However, it also gives you stacks, which makes it so you take a stronger and stronger dot. So you can only take so many stacks before you have to get off and trade with another person. So basically what you do is you keep putting DPS in front of the beam. They get a couple stacks, they get off, they change with another DPS and you prevent the beam from touching the boss. This is the most crucial mechanic and likely the one that's going to trip up most parties in this raid. Let's start the raid boss. So the first ability he's going to use is Nature Shock. It's going to choose a few random targets and it's going to drop a bit of an AoE under them. All you need to do is dodge it while your DPS is standing in front of the flowers. Please note how the DPS are blocking the beam from the flowers. The next ability is going to be a tank buster. It's going to do a lot of single target damage to the highest threat target. Once this happens, you need to taunt and swap. Otherwise, you take a tremendous amount of damage and you will wipe. So here is Wild Growth. Up to this point, the rotation is always going to be the same. It's always going to be the little AoEs. It's going to be the tank buster and then it's going to be Wild Growth. Wild Growth is going to do a big AoE ring that's going to keep getting bigger and bigger over a couple of seconds after it's cast, which you will see now. You need to be careful here because the attack isn't done despite how it looks. It's going to cast it again and then it's going to cast it a third time around the most outside of the arena so the people blocking the flowers have to move in to dodge it. Otherwise everyone's going to take quite a bit of damage. It's warning us here to parry the beams because it is taking, you know, it's getting stacks. It's going to use the tank buster again and then it's going to be taunted back to me and now it's going to summon the mushrooms. The ads are really straightforward. You don't even tank them. You just get your DPS to rush at them and kill them before they reach the boss so it doesn't heal the boss. This was the first time that I was doing the boss on global, so I completely forgot about this mechanic. But what this mechanic does is it does a cone of damage wherever the tank's standing. So you need to make sure that the cone does not point at where the flowers are at. Otherwise, what's going to happen is people that are on the flowers are going to get off the flowers to dodge it, and when they do, the flower beam will hit the boss and it will get more powerful. So make sure you point this in a direction that goes between the flowers rather than at the flowers. Welcome to the second phase. Basically, he's going to start the phase by slamming the granite and doing a bunch of damage, so try not to stand next to him. When the phase 2 starts, what's going to happen is he's going to start putting brutes on the ground in portions of the room. And he's going to summon individual adds. What you need to do is to taunt the ad and pull the ad out of the, you know, the rooted area and pull it to a good area of the ground going around the boss in a circle 
and kill the ads one by one. While these ads are up, there's going to be this little buff that you notice around a player. The selected player will get pollinate on them. It'll be like a pink circle around them. You need to get away from the team. Otherwise, you're going to put dots on your teammates and then everybody's going to take extra damage. So all you do is see pink, run out of the raid. Once it goes away, come back. He's going to use green nuts, which is what's going to put the thorns on the ground. He's going to summon the adds. There's the green nuts. So you pull the ad out of the roots and you kill the ad. If you look on the screen, you're going to see somebody with like a pink thing around them. There he is. As you can see, he's now going to run away from the group so we all don't get the dot. Basically, you just keep doing this. You kill the ad. He will use his green nut again, which will block out part of the map. You taunt the ad, pull it into the good area. And you do this in a full circle around the boss. As you can see, this mechanic is actually rather straightforward. It's just kill an individual ad. A person with a very noticeable you know, effect on them runs away. And nothing else can really happen. So he's going to do this around a full circle. And when he does, he's going to move back to phase one. So in phase one, we had the flowers, which was the main effect. And you got to dodge that cone along with the root. If you just do the same mechanics that I've already shown you earlier in the video, so basically, you know, phase one all over again, you will easily be able to beat this boss. So now that you know all of the mechanics of the fight, let's jump to the end. Okay, so we go through phase one and phase two a couple of times with the mechanics that I already showed you. It's just a repeating boss mechanic, so everything you know you just keep doing a couple of times, and eventually the boss is going to die. Congratulations, you have beaten your third raid in Taurusland.